Hey guys, Mark and Nick here. And Venom by Daniel Way is probably one of the best Venom stories and the scariest comic I own. It's the first half. The first half starts with a storyline called Shiver. And it's basically, if you guys have seen the movie The Thing, the classic movie, which is basically about this alien shapeshifter on an Arctic installment, it's basically that plot, but but the it the thing not it not pennywise the thing is venom and it's just good so just show you guys the art the art is done by several different artists let me francisco herrera paco madina sean galloway and scotty young so they're all pretty good artists though i will say it was pretty stylized near the beginning and even though I kind of appreciate it, I don't know if everybody will with, like, just how cartoony it kind of looks. But I think it was just that kind of cartoony that was creepy, but not to where it was too bad. I mean, I still enjoyed it, but as the book went on, when you get to the parts drawn by, uh, I think this might have been... Paco Medina, tell me if I'm wrong, if somebody Googles it, but I, I really preferred his art style. It's a lot, it's smoother, but it's also, you know, normal action, hero, superhero kind of thing. But he's still kind of cartoony, not, just not to a point like Francisco... I don't know. I'm going to stop trying to say names. But yeah, the plot... The plot is really good in the beginning. It's really solid with the whole Shiver storyline. But then... After the parts were with Wolverine in it... And yes, the Wolverine is in it. And he's pretty great in it. And he survives a nuke, which is pretty pretty cool. It's pretty neat. I put that on my, I put that on my wall... I, I don't know if it's Iman Coelho level, but it's pretty good. The plot starts out really solid, and then it just kind of goes off the rails with a whole bunch of clones and stuff. Like, there's this whole corporation of these... I don't want to spoil it, but there are these clone robot things. And they kind of just take away the spotlight from the, the symbiote. Or just... The plot in general. And then in near the end where they start throwing in like, the Fantastic Four. Let me find a page with the Fantastic Four. They start throwing in Nick Fury and... Um, yeah, I can't show. I can't find it. Oh yeah, Reed Richards and the Fantastic Four. And then of course they throw in Spider-Man. Because what's a Venom story without Spider-Man? Venom by Daniel Way, kind of. I mean the first half at least. So, yeah, um, story changes a lot. But I will say, I, I forgot to mention, the last artist, Scotty Young, his art is really good. Um, it's cartoony, but not to a point where it just takes away from the plot line. But you could also still tell what's going on and stuff. Just really solid. That's the best way to describe this book, just really solid. Um... And it's, and it's just, well, big panels are spread, spreads, I can't, I don't know what they're called. They're pretty solid, too. Alright, I'm kind of rambling at this point, so I'm just gonna end this video. Happy Halloween. Yeah, bye.